Uh, what's up everybody? Super excited today because we got a little bit different of a video. You guys have all seen me review yo-yos, but I haven't really reviewed much string. I mean, I had the video where I taught you guys how to make string, and I had that one video where CJ kind of rifled off through a bunch of different strings and told the difference of them, but we haven't really done much string reviews. So that's why I'm so excited today because this company, Zipline Yo-Yo Strings, their owner, Jeremy Park, he sent me a message on Facebook and he just asked if I could take a look at some of his products and I don't know what he sent me, this has been sitting in my house for two days and I haven't opened it so let's open it. Okay without further ado let's unbox this baby. Uh, I think this is just folded together so this is totally unnecessary so I'm just doing this to be funny. Well not to be funny just because I want to. And People are going to say why did you do that? Because I wanted to that's why. Good enough answer for myself. Good enough answer for you. Who am I talking to? I have no freaking idea. All right. Looks like I didn't break anything. Score one for the bad guy. All right. Okay, so first things. Ooh, what do we have here? A little card. I really like the, the pattern and stuff on it. Just <laughs> and then, I don't know if you're supposed to see this too, but you... Spoiler alert, you guys are saying it. So, I'll read it. I'm not the best reader, sorry. But, Dylan, thanks so much for posting such great daily content on your channel. I tune in every day and enjoy seeing what you're up to. I've made quite a few purchases and learned plenty of new tricks from watching your channel and look forward to seeing more. I hope you and CJ enjoy these strings and hope that you'd be willing to offer up any feedback or suggestions you might have. Also, if you like the strings, I'd love to work with you to come up with some custom colors uh, of your own that we could do. So I know he did like a, a run with Throws and Brews, with Tom over at Throws and Brews, and he has like his own signature string. So I think what he's saying is like, you know, maybe I can come up with some cool colorways and, you know, and we can go from there. I want you guys in the comments, let me know what colors that they don't already make that you think would go really cool together. And maybe I'll take some of your comments into consideration when they ask me, you know, when I, if I, you know, this all works out hopefully and uh, we get some hot diggity zipline string. <laughs> uh, then I got another note in here. Oh, okay, I think he sent me the same thing over email. Yeah, but this is really long, but if you want to pause the screen, you can read it, but I'll give you, I'll give you the shorthand. So basically his... His company, they do everything like one by one. Like all these strings, they're they're made one at a time. I think he probably just does it on a drill, you know, just like the old fashioned way. And his wife and his two daughters both help. His daughters, they help write the cards. Um, and they also help tie in the knots and stuff. He uses like three different types of polyester. Like it's all polyester, but it's like three different types. One of the types is like really strong. So it's supposed to make it like better for whips and slacks and suicides. And um, it's supposed to bind really well, but still be really soft. So yeah, I'm very excited to try these strings out. I, you know, I kind of just play with whatever. So <laughs> maybe having like really good strings will uh, up my game a little bit or something. But yeah, this is just super, super awesome. And I know that these are supposed to last like five times as long as regular yo-yo strings. So without further ado, let's let's see what we got in here. Okay, put that aside. I don't want to lose that. Thanks for the card. That's, uh it's always nice getting a handwritten card from somebody. There's uh, all the information. This will all be in the description as well. Cool card though. Okay, slushy thick. Okay, this is the, you know, obviously the thicker core string. And these colors are beautiful. I really like these two. Both these ones are really cool looking. This is like the Babezilla colors. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it does feel quite soft. Um, probably about as soft as kitty string. I, I mean, I haven't used a ton of kitty string, but I feel quite similar. Maybe, maybe slightly, slightly stiffer. I don't know. I don't know, but okay. So these are the thicker ones. Usually I use a little thicker for like off string. And uh, if I want to, you know, loop, stuff like that. I, I've always normally liked thinner string, so the regs, this is probably what's going to be right up my alley. The slushy regs. So slushy is the colorway. Okay, so like these are the same colors. Just It's like one set of the thick ones, one set, you know. 
of the regular ones. Then these are the antifreeze, and this is like your your classic color, you know, that every yo-yo company has. Like this is it's really it's very very vibrant, but you know, like every every yo-yo string company comes out with this color. And a lot of people, there's a lot of like rumors that certain colors play better than others, and a lot of people believe that. Yeah, I guess maybe I just don't. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll find out. But yellow has always been like people have always said, oh, yellow string plays the best. Except when the Volto string was out, everybody said the pink string played the best. So I don't know. But that's really old. You guys probably don't know what I'm talking about. If you know what I'm talking about, tweet at me on Twitter. Okay, so here is the regular. Same thing. This is probably going to be right up my alley. And then here we got the business class, okay? So this is pretty cool. Look at this. These are just like classic, you know, your classic colors. So this one's like, you know, got a little orange and white in it, just regular orange, white, uh, like a yellow and a gold. But yeah, is this? I'm not sure if these are. Th these look pretty. These, are, I think these are thicker. But you know, the thick isn't crazy thick. It's like you might be what I. You know, I might like this. The cherry bomb, just you know, a really vibrant red. Both the thick and the regular. So, let me. I'm gonna take out one of these. Let's just first see. Okay, so just like Kitty String or a lot of new string string companies are doing this, they just tie just a regular knot in the end, and then you tie your own, you know, finger loop when you get it to your length. I personally, I, I like to do like the belly button to the floor, so you know I'm just gonna do that. If you don't know how to tie a yo-yo knot, it's like the easiest thing in the world. All you do is you go like this. Okay, watch me. So you got this. So you got a loop, and then you just tie a regular like one like overhand knot or whatever it is with that loop like that. You know, put it through there. I don't know if you can see it. My hands are probably too fat, but boom. It's like the easiest thing in the world. There's tons of videos. I don't know why I'm teaching you this, but yeah. Okay, well, anyways, yeah, it feels real nice. Let me get it to the proper length, and I'll put it on a yo-yo and see what happens. Okay, guys, and this string is quite long. I do. I like to do the belly button to the floor, and it's more than long enough for me. I'm. I was five ten before I had knee surgery. Now that after my knee surgery, I'm five nine. So if you're five nine, it's more than long enough. So I'm gonna get this get this all tied on, and we'll work. All right, guys, I got it all strung up with the thick string. Let me start by saying that this color, the grape escape, just looks sick. Oh my magic guy stealth. So. You know, props, props on the sweet colors. So, it's supposed to be really good for whip tricks. So, I should be able to land a triple high to hug first try. Let's uh, see if I can do that. No problem. <laughs> and one thing was, when it was in the air, it was like, I could hear it cutting the air. It just... Yeah, when you do whip tricks, you can actually hear it. First impressions, I, I do really like this. The I thought this was going to be, because this was the thicker kind I tried first, I thought this was going to be like really thick, but no, it's like perfect. I, I, I kind of really like this. So I'll give the thin one a try in a minute, but let me just see how it feels when I'm playing fast on my hands. It does feel slightly rougher than something like the Magic Yoga string or, um, I don't know, like the old Volto string or something, but it's definitely... I can tell it's already starting to break in, so I think this is like the type of string you need to play with it for like five minutes, and it'll start to soften up a little bit. Because yeah, now it's feeling, it's feeling pretty nice. Yeah, it binds really good, but it's not snagging. Like just when I'm playing. Sorry, that's my uh, clock. But anyways, yeah. I think for whips and slacks. Yeah, this string is just awesome. See that? See, it's not snagging when I put like a bunch of layers of string on either. Oh, let's try that again. Yeah, look at that. I got it put on six times, and this is the thick string, and it's not binding. So, I don't know, that's pretty cool. So, I'm gonna put the, the thinner one on, give that a shot, and we'll be right back. Okay guys, I put some of the antifreeze on here with the thin, 
and uh, let's give this a throw. Now, it definitely is a little thinner. Right out of the package, I feel like this one is a little softer, in my opinion, than the last one I played with. I feel like that thick, the thick one kind of needs the couple minute break-in period. This one felt more just like right out of the package, boom, like, let's, let's do it. But I, I still like them both. I think this is probably the string I would use for 1A. And then for 5A, I think I'd like the other one. It's not like crazy fat. Like I think the, the kitty string fat is thicker than that stuff is. I really like the thickness of both these. Like I think this might be like the best plant. I don't know if I had string this thin either. I don't know. It's like, it just feels different. I don't know. Maybe it's all in my head. But this thin string seems to whip just as good too. See, I was kind of thinking maybe it'd be a little lighter. And when whip is good, but it's like whipping good, it's opening for slacks, it's, you know, really good. So I am super, super impressed, impressed with this. Um, and the fact that this was supposed to last like five times as long, that's awesome, because I run out of strings like crazy. Like, I'm always, I'm always out of strings. Some, some, like, whenever Magic Area is like, hey, do you need anything? I'm always like, I, I need strings. I'm out of strings. And, um, yeah, but this is just super, super awesome. Yeah. And it, it just, it binds real tight, but it, it's not binding like when I don't want it to. Like from just it rubbing, it's, it's not snagging at all. So yeah, I don't know. But yeah, all the information will be in the description. Oh man, I don't know what I was doing there. But yeah, all the information for Zipline Yo-Yo Strings is gonna be in the, in the description. Jeremy Park, thank you so much. I don't know why I said your full name there, was that weird? I don't know. Well anyways, Jeremy, thank you. This stuff is awesome, I will definitely be in touch with you. Uh, I look forward to, you know, collabing and doing some signature strings and stuff. So you guys in the comments, let me know what you want to see. And thanks for everything, guys. Woo! -hoo!